check out this free video and make sure you hit like and subscribe. Including the top story today, John O'Ran in the newest edition of The Varsity talked about the television deal, AW television deal with Warner Brothers Discovery. He stated a formal announcement could come as soon as next week. He said it looks like it will be a four-year deal, three of those years guaranteed. The number floating around of $170 million per year is in the ballpark, he said. AW programming on TNT, TBS, and True TV twice a week. And uh, also they are pitching a package of broadcast channels, no timetable for when they'll start to push that deal. So really, this is pretty much everything we've been talking about. Uh, ballpark number. Uh, True TV is new. And uh, the twice a week... TBS, TNT, and True TV twice a week. I presume that means we're going to have replays of the main shows. That's a good question. I don't know because um, if it's if it's two shows a week and three channels, then that would inherently mean replays. Um, I had presumed that there was a good shot of something on True because they're trying to rebrand True as a sports channel in prime time from eight to eleven every night. So I had thought that maybe that's that, that I had thought, and again, this is this is just speculation on my part. I had thought that that might be where like an ROH show might land, but um, you know, and they didn't mention anything about. I mean, the, the 170 million a year number is is a great number. Um, the one thing is, is that does that number include the pay per views? And I don't have an answer for that other than the fact that there is a deal. You know the. The pay-per-views were expected on Max in some form were supposed to be part of this deal. That's one of the few things I've heard about the deal. The two shows a week is pretty much what I've heard, which means that the third show would is the one that they're pitching elsewhere, which would be you know Fox or FS1 or whatever you know um, um, you know um, another Fox channel, um, and you know the so so either way, I mean like so so. If it's 170 million, um, not including the pay-per-views, that's one number. Um, if that includes the pay-per-views, um, I mean, it's still it's not as big as as an increase as um, you know. It's not it's not really technically a double, but it would be um, you know like you know it it would it would be a substantial increase you know. Um, so either way, um, if you use those numbers, um, if you're, you know, in, in 2023, the company did um, between 90 and 110 million, not including the U.S. television rights. That would be um, foreign television, foreign rights, live shows, um, merchandise, sponsorships, um, you know, um, pay-per-views, um, you know, just basically all revenue. So if you look at that, and, um, and you know, the number will vary because um, there are more shows now than before um, as far as live shows, but the average attendance is also way down. Um, and, you know, as far as some of the other deals, you know, when it comes to the international deals, I mean, next year opens up a lot of content uh, only because WWE will be getting out of all of those international deals, Canada, UK, India, um, you know, I mean, everywhere, you know, Australia, Philippines, whatever, whatever country. And well, that that's not international uh, TV is not a giant number, and it's not a big number for for AEW. It can grow bigger. I mean, the WWE deal in India is is and 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 the UK are both substantial numbers. There there are a lot more than the AEW deals in which and AEW does have deals in both of those countries. And if those, you know, I don't. You know, Tony seems to have a pretty good relationship as far as with ITV4. I don't know if he would want to move. And I don't, you know, the, the station in the U.K. that WWE is leaving is, is TNT Sports. So you already have that. Essentially, they're owned by, I mean, they're owned by um, WBD. So, I mean, to, to make that move actually seems to make a lot of sense. Um, you know, but that would be a separate deal. That wouldn't be part of this deal is only for, um, you know, U.S. rights. But um, would they be looking to, you know, um, replace that WWE programming with AEW programming? I mean, TNT Sports, you would think they probably are. Um, 
But then does Tony want to leave ITV4, which gives them greater exposure, but probably uh, would pay them less. And also on um, on uh, TNT Sports, um, they would be able to go live rather than a couple of days delay. But then that would cannibalize the um, you know the, the the service, the pay, the monthly pay service that's you know that a lot of the UK fans have. Um, which airs all the shows with no, with no commercials for whatever the price is. I don't know if it's five ninety nine a month or whatever. So um, that's all to be determined. India is a real interesting one only because, um, you know, AEW does not have a giant television uh, deal in India, and WWE does. Has, they don't have a, a giant deal, but it's, it's a, a show that's watched by a ton of people. Um, AEW is not particularly popular there. WWE is very, very popular there. Um, but... but um, WWE losing TV in India uh, out of its own accord because it's going, going to be going on net, Netflix. That opens up something that could potentially be really, really big. But anyway, um, if you're if you're include if it's 170 million, and we'll just say that um, you know the the other numbers um, are the same. There's no great increase or anything like that, and it, it would vary. I mean, it could be. A, um, it would be more. It wouldn't be less. So, so, so we're probably talking about a two hundred eighty million dollar a year, um, you know, total deal. Unless that one seventy includes pay per views. If it includes pay per views, um, you know, let's just say that's a little bit over twenty um, million um, for U.S. pay per views. Um, because I don't know that it would include international. I don't. Max does go into foreign countries. But um, I'm not sure which countries it does, and there are many countries it still doesn't go. So I'm going to figure that the international pay-per-view number, uh, this would not include all international. There's no way it could. Um, but if you do that, then you would get that number down to, let's say, $260 million, um, as far as gross revenue. Kind of estimated, you know, it might be, it, it might be a little bit more. Uh, but with that number, you know, you're, you're talking about a pretty darn profitable company. So, you know, all of the talk about, you know, you know, I mean, it, it would be, um, you know, as far as next year, 2025, it would be the uh, largest gro- grossing pro wrestling company in history other than WWE. And it would actually be larger than WWE was until the Austin era. And um, it would be, and, and inflation is kind of like makes that sort of a misleading statement. But as far as profitability goes, it would be the most profitable company Um that there has ever been in pro wrestling, except for uh, WWE, which Tony Khan pretty much did say would be the case over the course of the deal. So, um, you know, um, all kinds, you know, I mean, as far as like, uh, is this being, is, it's a successful business. It's a, it's a very, very successful business. Um, I got, I just want to go through, we have a bunch of questions on this subject, and let me just get through um Hold on. Let me get to. I hope you edited these. Um, Hold on. Let me just make sure I have them here. Um, I don't think I brought them. Um, I mean, I I guess the the basic. What were the main uh, questions were asked? Yeah, I mean, I mean, I think that I've kind of like answered some of them, but um, the main. I mean, like I think that uh, one of the key things was um, as far as. Um, you know, what's going to be on what channel is, you know, as far as like that. And it's like, I don't really know the answer to that right now. I mean, people are asking about, um, you know, as far as like the FS1 deal or the Fox deal or whatever. I mean, he he, he said broadcast, which would imp- indicate Fox. I think that would be a long shot at best. I wouldn't say it's impossible. I mean, I went through, um, you know, in the Observer, I went through like, you know, what they would probably be expected to average for an A show. And the key is, is, is if they're going to go on Fox, it's got to be essentially the equivalent of dynamite. If it's anything less, it will, it will absolutely fail. I mean, they have to be able to convince the audience that this is the, the A show, not the B show. Um, a B show on Fox will, will die. Um, but as, as far as an A show goes, there are several nights a week that, Fox programming does worse than what 
AEW would do. Friday would be suicide. Um, and, you know, they got college football on, on Friday, but they can't go head-to-head with SmackDown on Friday. But there are nights of the week that Fox doesn't do big numbers where an AEW show would beat what Fox is doing. So it's not implausible. Um, I still see it as a long shot. As far as FS1 goes, it's just a, a you know, the deal there would just be basically um, how much can you get? Um, and I don't think that that would be a big number, but, you know, could it be, um, you know, could it be, you know, if, if Fox wants to get in on wrestling, I mean, Fox was paying $205 million a year for two hours of wrestling. Um, you know, if they were to pay, um, I mean, if, as far as FS1, you know, they would pay far, far less. So, you know, I mean, you know, you're talking about $20 million, $30 million. It's, it's, hey, listen, it's, if they're going to make $30 million to just air a bunch of dark matches at 2 a.m., who cares? Take the $30 million. Well, that's not happening. They're not getting, they're not getting, they're not getting $30 million to air matches at 2 a.m. Um, I mean, it would have to be, it would have to be pretty significant, um, a pretty significant thing. Um, you know, and you have to have, even, even with, um, if they're, if they're going to get, like, let's say a Rampage type show, um, they're not, you know, that's not, you know, the Rampage show that would draw probably lower numbers than Rampage does because, um, you know, I mean, the key, you know, the key to Rampage is it's still Rampage is on TNT, which is still a, a, a higher rated station. It's it's not in more homes than FS1. FS1 is actually in more homes than USA, um, TNT or TBS, but slightly more. But it's a lower rated station as a general rule, actually significantly lower. So if you put you know, the same programming on FS1, even though it's in more homes than you put on TBS or TNT, it's going to draw a lower number, not a higher number. So it's got to be better programming than Rampage, um, or else it's not, the value really wouldn't be that high of the of the programming. Let me just uh, get here. Um, I actually have this stuff. Um, as far as, um, let's see, so, so um, yeah, um, as far as the Mac stuff, you know, it's still to be determined um, exactly what's going to happen. Um, the Fox deal regarding Shockwave. I mean, Shockwave would be that other program. I mean, that's that's what. And, and they did trademark the name, which means that they certainly believe there's a good. Sh- they wouldn't have trademarked the name if they didn't think there was a pretty darn good shot of it happening. But as far as like where it is, as far as the negotiations go, how far along, we don't know. Um, I mean, the WB deals is basically done. Um, like it's, and you know, he said it might be announced this week. Um, the new deal, let's see. Um, uh, let's see, would this be okay? So, this was about if they go to Fox and Fox wants it a team or product, would they, would they take it? And the answer to that is they're going, if they got a shot to get on Fox and Fox doesn't want the blood and the Fox doesn't want the swearing. Um, they're Dude, going, if Fox they're is going to pay him and only put the outrunners on, they'll only put the outrunners on. I mean, it's Fox, dude. They're going to do. They will. They will do what they're told. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, let's see. So, what do you think the value of AEW as a whole would be right now with the New Deal? So, a, a, a usual. So, so for sports franchise, the general rule is. Um, Depending on profitability, it's it's between you know it could be anywhere from five times to twelve times annual revenue. So if we're going to take a worst case scenario, which is the idea that this thing includes the pay per views, um, five times would be um, one point three billion, and uh, twelve times I actually have my uh, calculator here would be three billion, three point one billion, and if it's uh, a two hundred eighty million dollar a year company. We're talking about one point four billion to uh, three point three six billion. So um, that would be kind of the range as a general rule for a sports franchise. Um, um, you know, based on the revenue. Uh, let's see. When it comes to international rights, okay, that's we actually talked about that. Um, and let me just get one more thing here. Um, in John O'Ran's report, he specifically said AEW may be shopping show to a broadcast channel. Um, again, I think that that's the only thing that we've heard is the Fox thing. I mean, as far as like the other channels, um, as far as like CBS, NBC, um, I guess you could call Ion a broadcast. Um, you know, and they've done some good ratings for um, WNBA of late. 
Um, but that, that wouldn't be that significant because ION would actually be a series of local channels. Um, as far as, um, you know, it could be CW. CW doesn't have exclusive with, with, uh, with WWE. So, I mean, it's not like it's impossible for it to be CW. CW would not be um, significant. They're paying probably $34 million a year for NXT. Um, there would not be a – I mean, the AEW show would not draw, unless it's Dynamite, would not draw what NXT is going to would be drawing on that station. So it would not be worth, um, you know, it would not be worth that level of money. So, you know, those are basically your your options, unless you're talking about broadcast channel in Spanish. Um, I don't, you know, I mean, I would be shocked if, because uh, they're not really a Hispanic um, product. Um, but I mean, like, if they, you know, I don't want to do an if. You know, Telemundo or one of those stations, like, that's technically a broadcast station. Um, and they're actually, like, they actually do very good ratings. Um, but the AEW product is not, um, you know, it's not conducive to being, like, an Hispanic product. So I don't, I really don't see any uh, good shot at that. All right, well, I guess we uh, wait for the official announcement, which uh, we had figured. I mean, Tony even said it should be coming at any time. But yep. uh, probably within the next couple of weeks. And then once we know that, we'll have more to talk about. We'll know more details. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button, and you'll never miss a video again.